students welcome to your and our beautiful channel maths lesson students if you have not subscribed my channel till now please subscribe <coughs> the channel is one stop solution for mathematics the channel promise to cover the whole syllabus and also promise to discuss all your doubts okay in my last class we have discussed about algebraic factorizations today we continue with this today we continue with this factorization factorization what is factorization representation of algebraic expression in product form is called the factorization suppose x plus y into 2x plus 3y is the representation of a factorization algebraic form factorization means in product form okay then factorize the and you recall the three identities a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b okay then we discuss about factorization solve some examples here the question is given xy minus pq plus qy minus px then here xy plus qy minus pq minus px bring this term near this because here xy here qy you can take common qy here pq here px you can take common p okay then here what is the common term in these two terms the common term is y taking y common here x plus q here what is the common term minus p taking minus p common this is also x plus q then the common term is x plus q then take common x plus q we get y minus p this is factorization okay then solve another example another example is x square minus x a plus 2b plus 2ab is given then at first open the bracket this is minus ax minus 2bx plus 2ab okay then take these two terms what is common term in between these two terms x taking x common this is x minus a from these two terms taking minus 2b common then when you take minus 2b common here x is remain x and here minus 2b taking common means this is minus a what is the common term x minus a taking x minus a out we get x minus a into x minus 2b when you taking taking common x minus a from the first term here x is remain and here minus 2b this is x minus a into x minus 2b okay then solve another question another question is here x square minus xy 1 minus x minus x cube okay then first open the bracket this is y square minus xy minus x square y minus x cube okay then take think about these two terms what is common here take y common then there is y minus x here is look at here minus xy minus x this is plus x square y this is y minus x then from these two terms taking x square common what is remain here y minus x then the common term is y minus x taking out this is y plus x square okay this is factorization another question here 12 into 2x minus 3y whole square 
माइनस सिक्सटीन इंटू थ्री वाई माइनस टू एक्स ओके देन लुक एट हियर दिस इज टू एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई एंड दिस इज थ्री वाई माइनस टू एक्स देन टू एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई होल स्क्वेयर देन टेकिंग माइनस आउटसाइड दिस इज माइनस माइनस प्लस सिक्सटीन देन द ब्रैकेट इन साइड बिकम टू एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई टेकिंग माइनस कॉमन फ्रॉम टेक इट माइनस कॉमन आउटसाइड दिस इज माइनस सिक्सटीन टेक माइनस माइनस प्लस सिक्सटीन देन द ब्रैकेट इन साइड चेंज दिस इज टू एक्स टेकिंग माइनस कॉमन टू एक्स बिकम प्लस एंड दिस बिकम्स माइनस दिस इज टू एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई देन ट्वेल्व सिक्सटीन वी कैन टेकिंग कॉमन फोर and 2x minus 3y is the common part here taking this is remain 3 into from 12 you take 4 comma then what is remain here 3 when 12 divided by 4 what is remain 3 and 2x minus 3y whole square you take 2x minus 3y then what is remain here 2x minus 3y minus plus 4 Okay, then here four into two x minus three y. Here multiply. This is six x minus nine y plus four. Okay, then this is the factorizations of the algebraic expressions. Then proceed to another example. Here recall the identity s square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b here recall the identity a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b here 49 x square here the example 49 x square minus 16 y square 49x square can be written as 7x whole square minus 4y whole square. This is a square minus b square. This is a plus b into a minus b. This is the identity. A square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Then another question is given here. Another example. 3x cube minus 48x. 3x cube minus 48x. Take 3x common. What is remain here? X square and here minus 16. 3x x square. 16 can be written as 4 square. Then this is in the form a square minus b square. A plus b into a minus b. This algebraic expression can be factorized in this form. Okay, then take one more example. I have already told you maths needs practice. As you have practiced more and more questions, you will do better in your exam. Please, students, do your worksheet properly. And if any doubt persists there, please ask me in my comment box. This is twenty five x plus y whole square. This can be written as five into x plus y whole square. This is thirty six x minus two y square. This can be written as thirty six into x minus two y whole square. This is in the form a square minus b square. Then this can be written as a plus b. This is a square minus b square. This can be written as a plus b into a minus b. This is a plus b, and this is a minus b minus b. Then you open the bracket, do the multiplications. Five x plus five y plus six x minus twelve y. Then here, five x plus five y minus six x plus twelve y. Then here the like terms, eleven x five y minus seven y 
minus 12 y minus 7 y then here 5x minus 6x minus x 5y plus 12y plus 17y. Then this is factorize 11x minus 7y into 17y minus x. This algebraic expression can be factorized in this form. Then next. Next. Here the question is given. Here the question is given. Here the question is given. 502 whole square minus 498 whole square. This is in the form a square minus b square. A square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. A square minus b square can be written as when you factorize a square minus b square you get Recall the identity. This is a plus b into a minus b. Here a plus b. 502 plus 498 is 1000. 1000. 502 minus 498 is 4. Answer is 4000. Look at this. How easy it is. When if you find out the 502 whole square. Then subtract 4. Find out 498 whole square. Then subtract from this. This. Then you get the answer 4000. By using the identity, easily you find out the answer 4000. Okay. Then here another example. 4x square minus y square plus 6y minus 9. Then take 4x square one side. Then here take minus common. This is y square minus 6y. Sorry, this is 9 plus 9. 4x square can be written as 2x whole square. y square minus 6xy can be written as 2 into 3 into y and 9 can be written as 3 square. This is 2x whole square minus this. Look at this. This is a square plus b square minus 2ab. This is a square plus b square minus 2ab. What is a square plus b square minus 2ab? This is a minus b whole square. Then here look at. This is a square minus b square form. Then a square minus b square says a plus b into a minus b. A plus b into a minus b. While you subtract 2x minus y minus 3. When you open the bracket the y become minus and the minus 3 become plus 3. Then this is the answer. When you the algebraic expression is factorized, you get these two terms. Okay. Then solve another example here. Here the question is given 12x square minus 27. You taking common 3. This is 4x square minus 9. 4x square can be written as 2x whole square. And 9 can be written as 3 square. Then this is a square minus b square for a square minus b square means a plus b into a minus b. Then this algebraic expression is factorized into 3 into 2x plus 3 into 2x minus 3. Here another example. L plus m whole square minus 4lm. Here, open a, a plus b whole square, a square plus b square plus 2ab. This is minus 4ln. This is l square plus m square plus 2ln minus 4ln. This is minus 2ln. This is in the form a square plus b square minus 2ab. This means this is a minus b whole square. A minus B whole square means L minus M into L minus M. When you factorize the algebraic expression, you get this. Then another question. Another question is here. Another question is here. This is a question. Z square plus Z plus 1 upon 4. Factorize this. This is Z square. 
z can be written as 2 into 1 upon 2 into z am i right z can be written in the form 2 into 1 upon 2 into z 1 upon 4 can be written 1 upon 2 whole square then look at the form this is a square plus b square plus 2ab this means a plus b whole square a plus b whole square means a plus b into a plus b. These algebraic expression can be factorized in this form. Then another question, another example. A square b square minus 6abc plus a plus 9c square plus 9c square. Here a square b square means a plus b whole square minus 6abc can be written as 2 into 3c into ab can be written in the form 2 into 3c into ab 9c can be written as 3c whole square this is a square plus b square minus 2ab this means this is a minus b whole square a minus b whole square means a minus b into a minus b. Okay. This algebraic expression can be factorized in this form. Okay. Then, then we can solve one more question. One more question. Here the term x square minus xy 1 minus x minus x cube. Then y square minus xy multiply plus x square y minus x cube okay then to from these two terms taking y common this is y minus x then from these two terms taking x square common this is y minus x then here y minus x here y minus x taking y minus x outside this is y plus x square then this algebraic expression can be expressed, it can be factorized in this form. Okay. Then today this much. In my next class, we will discuss for about middle factor factorizations. Subs then till then, students please like, share, and subscribe the channel and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. And press the bell icon to get the notification of the upcoming videos. Thank you, students.